life, you need to decide. How do you want to live life? Do you want to live life like the teeming millions? You're born, you grow, you eat, you live, you procreate, you die. That's it. Hmm? And the day you die, believe me, people will forget you that moment and move on. Is that the way you want to live? Or do you want to make an impact on life, on the world, on yourself? Do you want to grow from, you, you take a look at great people, whether they are business people, musicians, athletes, they weren't born with all the advantages, they had to work for it. But what heights they achieved and what power they had, all that is within us. Every one of us has the spirit in equal measure. All you have to do is tap into it. Tap into your intangible assets. Develop your net asset value internally, not financially. For which you have to make choices in life. You know, yeah, nowadays, why are there less people here? Because it's the wedding season. Every day there are weddings. You go to a party, you go to a wedding, there's no place to sit, there's all crowded, there's no place to park. I saw yesterday, last night when I came. But Bhagavad Gita, nobody wants to come to. Everyone gives excuses. What to do? There's a wedding. And every wedding has seven days functions. So even if you are invited to three weddings, one whole month has gone. Right off. Doing what is the question. Now when it comes, you see, even if you want to make money, the Mundaka Upanishad, in Upanishad from the Vedas, says, whatever world a purified soul wants to attain, whatever object he wants to get, that world, that object comes to him. Therefore, the Upanishad says, even if you are seeking money, even if you want property, even if you want wealth, you must emulate a spiritual person. So even if you want money, you must come to the Bhagavad Gita. How does it work? You may say, How, the Bhagavad Gita has a magic charm. No. It just gets your mind calm. Vishuddha Sattva. The purity of the mind makes your mind calm, your thinking sharp. And you see, the mind can be calm only when it is free from selfishness, free from ego, free from desire, free from craving and lust and passion for things of the world. You get that, you gain that power, the clarity of thinking. And such a person, all he has to do is think a thing and it happens. If you don't believe it, try it out. Get that state of Vishuddha Sattva. Purify your mind and see what wonders flow out of you. So therefore, the knowledge of Bhagavad Gita is essential. It's about self-enrichment self-advancement, self-development. This cannot be outsourced. Any other knowledge, if you don't have, you can still live life. You don't need knowledge of medicine to live a healthy life. Whenever you fall ill, you can go to a doctor, borrow his knowledge and you'll be okay. You get into a legal tangle, you don't need to do LLB. You hire the services of a lawyer and if you're lucky, you'll get out of it. But 
when it comes to your own life, you cannot outsource it. You can't go to an enlightened person and say, look, please sort my problems out for me. He cannot. Krishna himself has told Arjuna, his dear friend, Krishna was an enlightened soul, enlightened from birth onwards. Arjuna, his dear friend, was in dire straits, in a critical situation, life-threatening situation. Even then, Krishna gave him knowledge, but he said, I can't help you. Lift yourself by yourself. So therefore, friends, you have to make that choice. You have to make that decision.